Prior to her death, was there ever an occasion where you were concerned that Mrs. Clark was being unduly influenced by any person or persons? I don't know how to, I don't, I'm not sure I know the answer. Well, uh, you're involved in the trust in the estates field. You've right. heard the phrase undue influence. Right. You know what that means, right? Yes. Okay. Did you ever have any concerns at any point in time that Mrs. Clark was being unduly influenced by anybody? Yes. And when was that? At every time that she made a gift. Every time she made a gift, you were concerned a that- A large, a large gift. You were concerned that she was being unduly influenced. Right. Do you recall who you were concerned was unduly influencing her? Her nurses, her doctor. When you say her nurses and her doctor, do you have any names? Hadassah, Geraldine. Hadassah Perry. Perry. Geraldine Coffey. Yes. Any other nurses? Uh, I don't know if I would characterize as undue influence. She had a tendency when people would give her a hard luck story to make a gift to them, to alleviate the problems of the hard luck story. So somebody would come in and say, uh, oh dear, my, uh, uh, my sister needs an operation and I can't afford it. She would say, well, I'll pay for it. So how, if, is that, if that's undue influence, then yes. Uh, otherwise, is just giving a hard luck story and her falling for it. Now, is that something different than what you were referring to when you mentioned Hadassah Perry and Gerald? No, it would Coffey? be the same thing. Same thing. Same thing. And when you mentioned her doctors, do you have any names there? Dr. Rudick, Dr. Singman. Anyone other than those nurses and doctors that you mentioned? Not that I can recall. When you were concerned that she may have been unduly influenced. Did you do anything about it? Objection. I asked her or discussed it with her, and her answer was, or question was, can I afford it? And I would say, yes. And I would say, but why don't you put it into, your, into a will rather than giving it now? And she said, I want to see people enjoy the gifts that I give while I'm alive. Did you explain to her the economic consequences of giving the gifts while she was alive versus putting them in the will? On many, occa on many occasions. And what did you tell her? That by giving gifts while she was alive, she was incurring uh, gift tax obligations uh, and the uh, if she put it into her will, it would not be the same as uh, having to pay gift tax while she lived. 